Welcome to Chang Chil, yeah. Elephant Sanctuary. We're in, we're in Chiang Mai Island and today we're going to observe elephants mm -hmm. and do some other stuff that we don't know yet. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned to see what we're going to do. Let's go. Let's go. We came to Cheng Chil because it's the, the most natural elephant yeah, sanctuary right. they have here. The elephants aren't on chains, they get to roam around how they like. So we're not going to be touching, we're not going to be riding. We're, we're basically just going to be observing the elephants. And we're going to go for a walk yeah. and see them. It's, it's better for the elephants. This is going to be a really nice experience. We're going to see how they are when they're just nice and relaxed in the yeah. wild. It's not all these people. As we go, then we have to be a bit more quiet around the elephants because they have very good hearing. It's going to be a problem for some people in this group because some people are just so loud in this group. Some people. Yeah. I wonder how. Ching Chou rescued these elephants from like having people ride them, working at circuses. Yeah. Now the elephants don't have to do that anymore. And we trained up. Yeah, so they rescued them with the support of World Animal Protection. <laughs> so they helped them get the elephants here and they have four yeah. elephants in total and we're gonna go find them. Yeah, sometimes they walk up, up, down here. But normally they can do like this. Mm -hmm. Walk, you know. Uh -huh. Oh, because they don't fit or else. This is what they like. Uh -huh. Bamboo leaves. Quite pretty lucky. This is to keep green and moisture because this is end of rainy season. It's not easy to find the leaves for food for them in the jungle. So in the summer, we have to buy more leaves or more fruit for them. We make sure that they get enough. The area that we allow them to roaming free, it's 20 acres around two mountains. Wow. Because at here, this is a part of national park. We call Mewang National Park. They allow our elephant roaming free here. At here, we have the elephant pole. Huh? Mm -hmm. All girls. But they separate into two groups, the mom and her daughter. The mom is around 50 years and the daughter is 30 years. And another group is two girl best friends. Both of them are around 30 years. A guy was just telling us that elephants are very, very emotional animals. So like from one second to another, they can be from really happy to really mad. Yep. Right? So yep. you have six. But, but one of them died because he was sick for a while. So his friend was very, very sad that he yeah, died. Like literally crying. Yeah. And so two weeks later, also the friend died because he was really sad. So this shows you that elephants are very intelligent, very emotional animals. <laughs> Sorry, a friend of ours is saying that I'm too loud. I'm not. Bye. We're going to walk to um, Karen village. So the Karen village, they live the little hill like this. They spend their life with the nature. Crop the field, plant corn, plant the mountain rice, plant the other fruits, you know. And we also support um, the village. Some of them are going to be uh, the keeper of our elephant too. Chang Chiu, this project, Chang means elephant. Chang Chiu is chilling. So this camp, it's going to be let elephant chilling with the nature. They don't need to work anymore. They've got freedom now. So they're happy. And we introduce them into the jungle skill. So they're not from the jungle originally. Some of them, they, they breed and born in the camp before they train and control them. In Thailand, we have wildlife and domestic. And two of that cannot mix. The wildlife, they stay in the deep jungle. They survive themselves. No human involved gonna attack you because human is number one predator. So the domestic is uh, from the elephant camp. You know, riding camp, so elephant care. What is elephant care program? still have some activity, bat with the elephant, walk with elephant, some still like feed them. But at here we have more another step up of more awareness, conservation. Uh, the guideline of our world animal protection is um, take care of elephant, but in a good way right now.
elephant found all the food. Now he knows where they go and get it. So now he's eating it all. So these leaves are to make the elephant, is medicine for the elephant to make mm -hmm. them, okay, stronger. I mean, when do you give them the medicine when they eat? Oh, this is not kind of medicine, it's like herbals. Oh, herbal. It can make them stronger and it can be really the high fevers that we cannot find a medicine. This is like we can make the paste and keep for all things. Oh, okay. So, Kozi, what are you cutting? Sugar cane. And what you're cutting it for the elephants? He knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, wow. You. Oh. Look at all that sugar cane. All for the elephants. Oh come on! Wow. <laughs> go Emma. Go Emma. You got this. Help me. Go go go. Emma, come on! Smash that sugar cane. Smash like you never smashed sugar cane ever before. Come on! This is for the elephants. Come on, Emma. You got this. Go. Cut it. Very well done, Emma. Good job, Emma. That was a good, you gotta slam it harder for me to stay there. Slam hard. Okay. I'm trying! The, top, the tip has to be slammed. The tip there, slam it now. No, not that don't push it in, slam it. Hard. You want me to do it, Emma? Oh, you got it, you got it. Come on. In. Slam it in. You gotta swing it. Oh, that's There good. we go. Very nice. So now we're bringing the sugar cane down here to do the next step of the food for the elephant. Like that. Oh, slide them in. Okay. okay. I mean, their trunks are pretty dexterous. Now we're gonna go observe the elephants eat. We prepared before, like you saw, the sugar cane, which are laid in those thingies there. And now we're gonna go see the meat. So yeah. Okay. So this is the mother and the daughter. That we didn't see them in the jungle because we saw the two friends. So here's mother and daughter. Here's number three, and back there there's number four. They're all the almost here. The last one is the first one we met her. Yes. Hello. Emma, is it cool? Oh, it's great. It's amazing. It's really beautiful. So we're gonna make the elephant food. Now we're gonna make the cookies for elephant. Someone called Jonat. Someone said wheat fix snack bar. Someone called uh, rice ball. But it doesn't matter. This is the ingredient that we can find out. Uh, in the local here and this is a uh, very good health for elephant this is gonna make the balance body and make it more strong and healthy because sometimes elephants just eat um, bamboo leaves or just banana leaves all the time or corn stalk it's not variety this time we find out the ingredients that we can find and uh, let's see what we have in so the first one I think you can guess it what's salt. that? Salt. sea salt this is a mineral, like um, electrolytes, because elephants have no poor skin, they can't sweat. Okay. So the solution that is cool and um, fresh in a low temperature, cool temperature is go to the river to bath, spray, or even a cool mud bath spa too. Nice like pepper. It's kind of one earth of Thai people do cooking in the kitchen. This is one of the ingredients we make like Thai curries. It's like kind of spice, but we call Chinese uh, pepper. If you squeeze it, that smell it. This can make like a uh, release the gas and the balance of the body. Okay. Yeah, we have, you have to smush with your fingers. Yeah, squeeze. Um, squeeze. Yeah, small one. Yes, round. Or a one hand and one hand too. I tell you. Oh, he's better. See? At the size and then brown. See, he's, he's 
And then, so learn. And then here, stir and crown the left. Okay. Yeah, Emma, come on. Come on. And this is the herbal leaves we call in Thai Sam Wan Sam Kun or three day three nights. This is can enhance elephant when they get fever. Like a paracetamol. Okay. So when the elephant get fever or some of the people get fever, we can squeeze and um, make like a tea. Or you can keep it that too. Okay. So you have to take the leaves off, right? Yeah. The step. And uh, in small pieces. Oh, okay. This one, where I get from uh, the mountain, while we observe elephant, this one we call Malabai gooseberry. Malabai gooseberry. Smell and tell me. Tamarind, yeah, oh. damn. Oh wow. Anyone like tamarind? No. In Thailand, we have sour oh, okay. and so sweet tamarind. I know, I don't have This is uh, sour tamarind. Oh, no. Anyone like to try tamarind? Sure. Take the skin off and uh, get the seed out. So it's like paste. Yeah. It's eatable. We're cooking like pad thai sauce. Make a sauce for pad thai. Make kong yam soup. So okay, so he's going to so, put it with yeah. salt and... Mm. How was that? In the camera. It's really good. Need some salt. This is salt. Okay. Salt from uh, salty from salt and sour from tamarind and sweet from chicken. It's really good. Okay, Emma, now I'm gonna mix. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Emma's mixing now, but she's kind of failing. Oh, really? So I'll probably be better at this. Come on, Emma, put your back into it. Come on. Come on, Emma, focus. Use your power. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, guys, that's how you make elephant, elephant soup. It's good, so you have pet elephant. Make this, guys, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rice germ. Rice germ. Or rice powder. We have sesame seed. It's some like corn seed or any uh, weeds you can put on that. We're gonna do hand massage now. We're gonna make um, the donut right here. But we're gonna make the last one here. Okay, stir it and shape into a ball. And make a ball. Last thing we have is okay. rice gel. Then, uh, after and stir, make like this. You can or use we sesame seeds. Okay. Or we can make like a ball like this. Rain. Yeah. And then you make a little ball. Rolling. And then you give it to the elephants. Okay. So we're making meatballs, I guess. Yeah, meatball. Mm. Except. Uh, hey, you're telling. <laughs> and there we go. Now the elephant gets his her meal. Look at her eyes, happy eyes. Can she eat something like that? Oh, look at her smiling. You can see the female have cut underneath. Yeah. And then from up, you can see the top part of the female. Hey guys, look at this beautiful view. And there's an elephant that's going into the river. Oh, oh, here she comes. Okay. There she is. All the way. That's the one that we fed. Her name is May Too. She's going in the water for a swim. May Too is going for a swim in the water. These three have gone to the spa and they have had mud sunscreen on. <laughs> and they just had third lunch. So yeah, I think they're pretty full. Cool. Till it's fourth lunch time, so yeah. Uh, you, uh, you
that's the end of this video of today we went to visit Cheng Chil and it was a very amazing experience I would say just come here if because you have the chance yeah. yeah that's what they're doing for these elephants is really nice because we learned that there's another some other elephant sanctuaries that they say they're doing good for the elephants but it's not the best to always be up close and touching them and taking pictures with them and so yeah we would strongly suggest you come here you can make a food for an you elephant make a, you can make a donation like just yeah it's we'll really leave, good what they're doing we'll, we'll leave the link in the description below and everyone everything can help the elephants you know yeah. to, to have like a nice peaceful life so guys that's yes, it don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel ring the bell and and like this video and make and sure to comment down Facebook. I love elephants comment you love the elephants if you love elephants <laughs> all right and follow us on Facebook Instagram TikTok uh, YouTube and yeah guys we'll see you in the next team retreat video bye, bye.